Hello everyone. In this session, the another problem regarding the Nyquist plot. Here, the given open loop transfer function equal 10 by s cube s plus 10. Find the right hand closed loop poles. The question is, find the right hand closed loop poles. So here, whenever the given problem is right, like this 10 by s cube s plus 10. So we should modify. First, we should write the we should draw the polar plot first. After that, we will draw the Nyquist plot. After getting the Nyquist plot, we will find out the number of encirclement and we will verify how many number of open loop poles. From that, we will get the closed loop poles. So, if you observe here, the polar plot is like this. So, polar plot is it has start from 3 phi and it, it startingly it has the 3 pi and it will it will end with this so this is the general polar plot this is the general polar what is the replica the replica is replica is like this replica means this will flow in this manner so it will have and it will have the flow is like this it will extend it and again extend it it will be extended like this it will be extended and it will continuously increasing it will be extended after that again it will increases it is extended and after that it will be uh, this is the path again it will be increases and after that it will increases and uh, the path is ending with here the path is ending with here so look at here initially the path is started from omega equal to 0 generally end at omega equal infinity at this point after that it will continuously increasing so confirmly we can tell that minus 1 plus j0 point is at this only minus 1 plus j0 is at this point only okay so by using this by using this polar plot, we drawn the Nyquist plot. By using this Nyquist plot, we will find out the right hand side pole. First, look at here at this minus 1 plus j0. So, how many encirclements we have? n equal. Look at here, this is the minus 1, 1 encirclement, and this is the minus 2, 2 encirclement. So, n equal, we can name it as 2. Okay. And how many open loop right hand side poles is there any open loop right hand has pole there is no zero now how can we find out what is the relation between n equal to p plus minus z plus so better to write plus upward plus from this we will get z plus equal to p plus minus of minus of n so from this p plus is zero this is minus of minus 2 so z plus equal to 2 so therefore by using this we will get a right hand side right hand side closed loop closed loop poles right hand side closed loop poles equal represents by z plus those are 2 so we are getting Two number of closed loop poles so what is the system stability whenever closed loop poles are two right hand side then system is directly we will tell that this is the unstable system that is the unstable system and what is the next question now look at this question here the question is the Nyquist plot of open loop transfer function is shown this is the Nyquist plot of open loop transfer function if gh of s has one right hand pole 
so ghfs means what is the pole this is the open loop open loop right hand pole and we can name it as p plus is given one okay the closed loop system is so how the system is varies how the system is varies so how can we find out by using this principle n circlements equal to p plus minus z plus look at here so this is the minus 1 plus j0 this is the Nyquist plot so what is n circlements here n circlement is n circlement look at here n circlement is we have the and anti clockwise whenever the n circlement is anti clockwise then what about n value n value is plus 1 so here we have the n value is the plus 1 so we should substitute n value is 1 here and p is 1 here what about z z plus is like this then what about z plus z plus is become 0 1 1 cancel and z plus is become 0 that's why what for by doing the z plus what we will getting we are getting a right hand side close loop close loop poles right hand side close loop poles is 0 we are getting the 0 close loop poles so by doing this so what we told here system is stable system system is a stable system with not stable system with zero right hand side poles there is no right hand side closed loop poles means system is stable and we can name it is this is a always stable system we can name it as this is a always stable system so in the exam he will give like this questions he will give the Nyquist plot here and just sometimes he mentioned right hand side poles or sometimes he never mentioned right hand side poles and he is asking about the system and he give some and he gives some options like always stable or unstable with closed loop and unstable with two closed loop poles and next three closed loop poles like this so we know the procedure whenever a closed loop system is directly he is given directly is given the Nyquist plot then we should find out the encirclements look at encirclements here the anti-clockwise so encirclement is 1 and he mentioned has one right hand pole so I will directly take in p plus equal to 1 so you know the relation between encirclement pole and open loop poles and closed loop poles z plus is the closed loop poles so encirclement is 1 open loop pole is 1 and closed loop poles is z plus then we will have z plus equal to 0 by using that we will get 0 so that's why we can tell always the system is the stable system okay so in case of the first problem here directly given the system then we should draw the open loop then we should draw the Nyquist plot from this and we use the encirclements and we use the right hand side poles by using the left hand side poles or open loop transfer function poles then we will get the right hand side poles then we will get how many types of right hand side pole, poles are available then whenever the closed loop transfer function have right hand side poles then the system is unstable okay these are the some different different models so useful for understanding the Nyquist plot concept okay I hope all of you understand this session thank you